Look at the look at this throne. You know yellow looks on black people. Like, let's go to black skin, honey. It's another day, another gift, um, another destination. Where am I? I am home, sweet home. I am in Nairobi, Dimusia, where my heart is, where I belong, where my family is. Oh my god, it feels so good being home. Now I can't go and see my family for obvious reasons. Um, but you know what? I'm just so glad to be home. It feels good just being here, seeing my people, you know. And the sun is coming out, so it's even better. But anyways, guys, welcome to episode 11, I believe, of Positive Pockets. We're here. Um, and as well as I'm going to make this lovely, short, sweet, and to the point. And you know what, guys? I want to know, do you guys generally enjoy these Positive Pockets? Um, do I, what do I need to do better? Do I need to maybe give more practical steps? I don't know. Just like, you know, talk to me, comment, do your thing, you know, give me a thumbs up. I don't know. What do these YouTubers say? Like, subscribe. But, um, anyways, on a serious note, um, so today's topic, um, it's probably going to be a little bit trigger. It's going to, it's going to be a little bit sensitive. Um, but it's me speaking from a place of, I also used to do it. But anyway, so today's Positive Pocket is going to be about ownership um and owning your words um you might not like this but um, we're gonna keep it real so the reason i want to talk about ownership and owning your words is because i feel like today we live in a world where um there's just so many things going on there is just so many it's just tough times like really really difficult times and um and what does that even have to do with this? But um, let, let's just let's just go together. Let's just w work with me. Um, and I feel that a lot of people like to use the word my, and I feel really strongly about this because I used to do this as well. Um, but you like to use the word my uh, when they when they're talking about their problems um, or anything, something that's you know a bit negative in their life. So, for example, my OCD, my anxiety. That's a big one my depression and i just feel like we need to really understand and realize the power of our words and you're probably rolling your eyes right now like oh okay here we go again no but seriously guys um i think it's so important to not own your problems to not give them power over yourself and not to give them power over your life because by saying my you're generally giving them ownership and i know in life it's hard especially when you've been facing the same problem or you've gone through something for a longer period and it just feels like it's just permanent it's consistent it's just there to stay so you naturally just say my and it kind of becomes the norm in your life i totally get that we've all done that we're all guilty i get it but I think it's important to get to a place of actually hold on no this problem this situation um this this issue does not have a permanent place in my life it does not have a permanent place in my mind it's i am i am much stronger than that i am much bigger than that you know and i just generally think um we like we easily use that word a lot very easily my this my that my that no like let's just be mindful of the words that we're using over ourselves and and and, and um and speaking in our lives you know because it it, it sounds really it, and it's not a superstitious thing it's not it's just a thing of your words generally have power that you they have power of your lives you know you realize if you're if you're saying you know i can do this I, i'm strong i can you know you you notice you do it you know you notice you get some kind of strength inside you there's some kind of energy that shifts inside you that makes you feel i am determined i can do this but then if you're saying um if you're if you're speaking the opposite of that what results are you gonna get you know so i guess it's just me just just it's just a reminder really and it's just the way to just say just take um be careful about the ownership and the words that you're that you're speaking over yourself um speak truth i always say speak good things um speak kindness over yourself you know it's so important to especially in everything that's happening in today's world and all the negativity all the pressures all the dark things you know it's it's really hard it's really really hard sometimes and, and i get it um but you also need to realize that you hold so much greatness you hold so much strength and power within you things on the outside will try and bring you down things things will happen constantly on a daily basis that will just try and bring you down 
but i just want to remind you that you know you can do all things you can do anything that you want to do you you can you can get through any situation that you are dealing with and if it begins from those small changes it begins from speaking you know strengthen you speak good things you know speak power over yourself and in your life because i i'm telling you it's possible okay whatever that you're going through it's not permanent i promise you it's not permanent like i i get it i get it you can face something for so long and it's so discouraging you know and it feels like nobody else understands it and it feels like sometimes that like you're in just such a dark hole that you can't literally climb out that it feels like nobody in this world understands what you're going through and and i get it but i'm telling you right now the strength is within you and you can do this and 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 just every day even and i know it sounds so cliche and it sounds so um so cheesy but look at yourself in the mirror i don't care tell yourself tell yourself so and so i'm great listen i can do this you, uh, honestly just just speak to yourself speak to yourself um and speak power over yourself you know and, and if and if you feel a bit weird doing that because it can feel weird get sticky notes put it on on your mirror like just something positive like just write good things about you and um and just and just kill it man you've only got one life i always say you've got one life there's only one you in this world no one has the exact same fingerprint as you no one has the exact same identity as you no one has the exact same um numbers of of hair on your head nobody can replicate you there's only one you in this world and that's why it's so important to just shine your light and in who you are and you in your truth stand strong in who you are don't let social media the pressures make you feel like you are less than don't let even your own people around you friends family you know discourage you and make you feel like you can't listen go for it you only have one life it's short it's a gift and just make the most of it um but um it also be it just, just really begins on on taking ownership of your words um, and I just want to just remind you guys that because that's something that I sometimes because we have to remind myself um, and it's something that I used to do a lot I used to say that a lot. I used to say my this my that my that and I thought actually hold on no why am I giving authority and power over these things not a uh, honey no um, so yeah it's just a lovely little reminder and that's just my positive pocket for today I hope um, it leaves you feeling somewhat encouraged um, it leaves you somewhat feeling um, what's what i'm looking for just just hopeful i always want to want to like um i i always want people to live in hope it's, it's a very beautiful thing when you live in hope because we need that in this world we need in that in um in everything that's going on around us um and just keep going um and you know what let's just even push it. if you ever want to talk about anything that you're going through personally or whatever i don't know how can you do can you send me you can send me a dm I'm, i always attach my instagram on my on the little description box so i'll leave it you can dm me and say liz i want to talk about this and i'm a girl of faith i always say that and in everything i do i i love giving i love giving things to god in prayer so i can pray with you we can talk about it just know your sis liz is here you know let's live life let's enjoy it. it's not always that deep you know go have a drink go have some champagne go out and, and live your life like you know do what makes you happy it's all about doing what makes you happy and what brings you peace that's a very big thing but um that's my positive pockets and that's me out right now what's the plan the sun is only coming out i brought my bikini i was ready to go out and just and just you know sit in the sun but um it's not really happening so i might just go like this um and just enjoy some sunshine um and yeah that's it guys i'm sending you love i'm sending you light i'm sending you peace and big kiss <laughs>